a chilly start for Mike Yanni this morning as well up at Win Sport, uh, previewing the World Cup and the start is where it's at, right Mike? It's all about the start. And Jill, you know what? This is a place not many people have stood. The very start of the bobsleigh run. A little bit slippery, obviously. The grooves you can see going down the hill. And they tell me, Jill, mm -hmm. that some people have gone down on crazy carpets. Oh, and really? Maybe even, maybe even shovels. Actually. Can you imagine riding a shovel down there? You better put your helmet on for that. Uh, I have been I down the track. The I've, I've been down the summer track, but I understand the winter track is a lot faster. I've heard it's an entirely different beast. I've been hearing 4.5 G's is what the athletes feel as they go down. It's, uh, it sounds a bit frightening. Katie O'Brien, uh, national bobsleigh team member, thanks for joining us this morning. Yeah, my uh, pleasure. This is really neat to be up here this morning. I've never stood here before. Um, it's, it really is all about the start when it comes to the run, isn't it? Well, I'm a brakeman, so I would always say yes. Um, but the start is actually super important as part of a bobsleigh run. Um, generally speaking, we would say in Calgary that a tenth at the top is equal to three tenths at the bottom. So if you're behind by a tenth, it's going to be way harder to make it up. You'll probably be three tenths behind at the bottom. And if you're ahead, then you'll be three tenths ahead if everything goes well on the way down. Wow. So I'm going to assume then the start, you practice that probably the most. Um, yeah, we have the ice house here in Calgary. And so we're pretty fortunate to have that. It's just basically a big football sized, football pitch sized thing with like ice on it. And we practice our starts over and over again all summer long. And of course, it's important you guys have a big competition coming up this weekend. Yeah, it should be amazing. Um, it's World Push Championships here at Winsport. And um, yeah, we're going to be having all of the best crew members from all over the world come and compete to see who is top dog. So men and women um, happens tomorrow, Saturday. And uh, yeah, you can come out to Winsport and check it out. It should be amazing. And speaking of team members, I want to bring over James. James McNaughton, another member of the Bobsleigh a national team. This is it for those who haven't seen this before. Um, not as stylish as they look on TV. There's really not much to it. Yeah, well, I'd call this one the Cadillac of bobsleigh. It's a tour bob, so it's... Um, when you it say tour, not, this is the one that the tourists get in yep. when they go down. It might not look that comfortable, but compared to the race sleds we go down in, this thing's a dream. Well, like, there's really not much to this. It's metal and fiberglass, I'm guessing? Yeah, surprisingly, they're real expensive, though. Um, there's no engine in it, but it's more expensive than a car. Now, at the very front there, I was asking where the steering wheel is, and you said this is probably as close, those rings at the front are as close as it gets. Yeah, so those D-rings are what the pilot uses to get us down the track. Um, they don't have that much control over it. They just kind of control the angle at which you go into corners instead of actually turning you. Um, and then we got the pilot seat right here. So they get the comfy seat. Yeah, and then everyone else is stuck on metal with foot pegs. So uh, the two-man sits right here and has his feet wrapped around the pilot. The three guy sits right in front of the axle there with his feet on these pegs. And then the brakeman, he sits in the fourth position, right, right. in the back there. Yeah. And these big handles here are the brakes. So he pulls them at the, uh, these the, are the end brakes. of the track. So obviously the brakes, you don't need that till the very bottom. Um, apparently I am going to be getting in this a little bit later on the show. The onesie is still up for debate. They told me this morning, you know what, you don't have to wear a onesie. But Rob the cameraman said, of course you have to wear the onesie. So, uh -huh. We'll see. Of we'll course, see. you have to wear the onesie. I don't know if anyone wants to see that at you home. You have to wear <laughs> the onesie. Early in the morning. You have to play the part. Even <laughs> okay. Maybe put it over your parka. Maybe. Yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> and I hope that we see it later, Mike. Uh, be brave. Be brave, my friend. Look, the Cadillac looks a lot better than the shovels and the crazy carpet. I'll tell you that much.